plant a tree on your birthday. You must have heard numerous such campaigns that ask for planting or saving trees in order to save the earth from pollution. So, what is pollution? Pollution is the harmful effect on the environment that can prove fatal to all living organisms. It is caused by the contamination of the air, water and soil by harmful substances known as pollutants. Pollutants can be solid, liquid or gas and originate from human actions and natural sources. Harmful waste products discarded by humans degenerate in nature. When this rate of degradation is slow, its potential of harm increases. Sometimes, the rate of natural degradation is so slow that the pollutant can cause harm for years and years. Dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane commonly called DDT. Heavy metals, many chemicals and plastic are among such pollutants. Now you can understand why we are asked to cut down the usage of plastic bags. Plastic bags take millions of years to degrade and hence do not mix with the soil or water. This results in soil and water pollution. And when burned, such materials emit poisonous gases that cause air pollution. Pollution has been a matter of concern for long and of late, atmospheric or air pollution has taken the center stage of scientific concern. The much talked about terms, such as global warming, the greenhouse effect, and acid rain, are some outcomes of air pollution. Air pollution takes place in two different layers of the Earth's atmosphere, the troposphere and the stratosphere. In this module, we will discuss the pollution in the troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest region of the Earth's atmosphere in which living organisms live. It extends up to 10 kilometers above sea level. Strong air movements and the formation of clouds takes place in the troposphere. Particulate matter and gaseous pollutants cause pollution in this region. The major gaseous pollutants of the atmosphere are harmful gaseous oxides include the oxides of sulfur, nitrogen and carbon besides hydrocarbons. The major particulate pollutants are dust, mist and smoke. Burning sulfur containing fossil fuels produces the oxides of sulfur. The most common oxide among them is sulfur dioxide. This gas is poisonous for living organisms and causes respiratory diseases like asthma, bronchitis and emphysema in humans. In plants, a high concentration of sulfur dioxide makes the flower bud stiff and makes them fall off, hampering its reproductive cycle. Coal combustion, ore smelters, petroleum refineries and diesel engines are some sources of sulfur dioxide. The most common pollutant of nitrogen gas Nitrogen dioxide 
is produced when fossil fuels are burned in high temperature, like in automobile engines. Dinitrogen and dioxygen are the main constituents of air, and they form nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide in high temperature. Nitric oxide also reacts with the ozone in the Earth's atmosphere to form nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide can cause respiratory diseases in children, irritate the eyes, lungs and throat, and damage the leaves of plants, affecting their photosynthesis. An increase in the level of the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen makes the pH value of rainwater drop below 5.6, causing acid rain. Acid rain washes away nutrients from plants and is harmful for trees and agriculture. It causes respiratory diseases in humans and animals. Acid rain flows to rivers, lakes and oceans and harms the ecosystem in them. The acid particles corrode metals and stones damaging structures made of them. The Taj Mahal, the beautiful monument in India, is being disfigured and rendered lusterless by acid rain. Another air pollutant, hydrocarbons, is produced as a result of incomplete combustion of fuels in automobile engines. In animals, hydrocarbons can cause cancer, while in plants, they cause aging by breaking down tissues, which causes shedding of leaves, twigs and flowers. Other major gas pollutants are the oxides of carbon, namely carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide is produced by automobile exhaust and incomplete combustion of fossil fuels. This highly poisonous gas combines with hemoglobin in blood, forming carboxyhemoglobin. When the concentration of carboxyhemoglobin reaches 3 to 4 percent, it reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of blood. This results in headache, weak eyesight and cardiovascular disorders. In extreme cases, it can also cause death. Carbon dioxide is perhaps the most commonly known air pollutant that is produced in respiration, burning of fossil fuels and decomposition of limestone. Generally, the balance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is maintained by the green plants. As you know, during photosynthesis, plants take carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Therefore, cutting down trees and burning fossil fuels damages atmospheric balance. An increase in carbon dioxide leads to an increase in the average global temperature. This is known as global warming. Let's understand how. Our Earth is covered with a multi-layered ball of air called the atmosphere. When the sun's rays come towards the Earth, one layer absorbs the harmful rays like ultraviolet rays and lets the rest pass to reach the Earth's surface. Near the Earth's surface, another layer traps the sun's heat so that the Earth is perfect for life. In response, the Earth's hot surface also sends back some infrared light, a part of which is sent back to space 
through the atmosphere. This process is very much similar to a greenhouse, where the glass holds the sun's heat inside. Therefore, gases in the atmosphere that traps the sun's heat are known as greenhouse gases. Water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane are some of the major greenhouse gases. When the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere increases, they trap more heat from the sun and also from the earth's surface. As a result, the atmosphere becomes warmer. And in a few years, may lead to the melting of polar ice caps and the flooding of low-lying areas all over the earth. This is what we call global warming. Global warming brings in various deadly diseases like dengue, malaria and yellow fever to mankind as it provides bacteria and viruses an environment favorable for their growth. By now, you have seen how much damage is being done to our Earth's atmosphere every day. So do your bit to save our planet by planting trees, reducing the use of fossil fuels and saying no to plastic. This will help save our one and only home from further damage.